Greetings, humans. And I'm, and I'm George. And welcome back to the Winning of the World Series. Right, so if there's one thing that we've said repeatedly on this channel that we like about briefs, it's the chunk. Yes, we like chunk. This one actually has chunk in the title as a subset of another word. It's called Stoyat Dev Chunky, and people tell us that literally translates to a chunky boy. Now, we're not the chunkiest boys you'll meet, but we do like chunk when it comes in the package of a riff. And this is another Jeffrey Day remix of Atomic Heart. I'm chunky at heart. You're chunky at heart? Yes. But you're not chunky at body. Yet. 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 But we're getting fat. Everyone does. And now I'm also gonna get Atomic at heart. Yes. Are you ready? No. Music. It is party music, yeah. Сегодня праздник у девчат. Сегодня будут танцы. Еще и девушек горят с утра.
didn't know you could make something so disgusting out of sin. Apparently you can. Yeah. Totally not my favorite, and given that it was advertised as the Chunky Boy, I expected it to chunk out of strings, not out of armpit farts. Armpit farts? Literally, if you listen to that fuzz sound again, that was fuzzing on the second half. It's armpit farts, through a vocoder, something like that. Robotic armpit farts. Yes. I'm gonna say, it doesn't really sound like the Chunky Boy was playing. It's more, it's almost like his aunt wrote a song about him. Yeah. And she's angry that he won't take out the trash or something. The first part really didn't do it for me. Not for me. The whole Russian palm music thing. I guess it's good for what it was. I mean, it had some variation of beats and atmospheres in there. And the vocals were, I mean, on point. But it's just, I'm not interested in that music. Yeah, sorry, say not my thing. But then, it, then it's then it started to stink, and that that was my thing. Yes, that was essentially a synth breakdown yeah. about halfway through yeah. before it went into the fuzzy instrumental bit. Yeah. So basically, what I think this song showed to me is that if you want me to like a style of music that I don't like, then you have to take it for what it is, and then make it stink. Yes, and then I'm gonna be into it. Yes. But yeah, the, the, the stinky part was really nice. And it did have, it did have, uh, some mid, mid chord and stink in there. As yeah. Far as I'm concerned. I feel like some of the synth heavy doom tracks have a similar vibe as well. Because of course they do, because this is Jeffrey Day and that's what he does. He doomifies things. Um, yeah, otherwise very good. But if you do have other atomic heart recommendations, we prefer riffs. We prefer riffs. Yes. It's good for what it is, but we prefer riffs. We prefer riffs. Um, I don't know if I have, oh yeah, uh, speaking of it being in Russian, I think most of the songs are actually based on, like, folklore Russian music. Yeah. And it's all doomified. Yeah. That I know. But like this one, I don't know, just wasn't working all that well. Some of the keyboards had a bit like a retro 80s dance music vibe. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, exactly. I like it. It felt, it felt like what would have been in a disco when my mom was our age. I wouldn't know what was in a disco when our mom was our age because I wasn't around. Probably the likes of Cool and the Gang. It didn't really sound like Cool and the Gang to me. No, it didn't. But like the synth effects have that 70s disco vibe. I think rather it sounded like what the 70s people would have expected our times to look like. Oh, yeah. Like if someone in the 70s wanted to write futuristic soundtracks, yeah. it would probably sounded like this. Yeah, so it's the soundtrack to the past future. Yes, it's the ghost of future past. Let's not scroogeify this. Okay, let's not scroogeify this. It's doomified already. Are we done? Yes. So if you enjoyed this reaction, we greatly appreciate the likes and shares. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe with bells. Thank you very much for stopping by. We hope you enjoyed your stay, and we'd love to see you back at the window very soon. Of course, see ya.